at the Hamilton Transportation Club, and we are about to have the gala event featuring Wendell Clark. And this is going to be an exciting night. You can see the place is packed. They sold out this year. So if you're interested in finding out more about events like this, which help local charities, then you want to make sure you get involved. Go to Hamilton Transportation Club. All right, I'm here with uh, Gene Emsley of the uh, Hamilton Transportation Club. How are we doing today? Fantastic, Bruce. Thank you. Good. So, uh, so what's going on? We got Wendell Clark. What is what is what is the reason for having this other than getting Wendell Clark? Ninety <laughs> fourth <94th> annual <laughs> dinner for the Hamilton Transportation Club. Uh, club has been around since the first streetlight was installed in Canada, <laughs> in Hamilton at the Delta. So it's just our annual dinner, and it's a way to get out everybody to uh, network, have some fun, have a nice night. You, so you guys were raising money for the first street lights. What are you raising money for tonight? Uh, well, tonight, <laughs> the 50-50 draw is going to TEED. Yep. So the Equestrian Association for the Disabled do a fantastic job. So all the 50-50 money, they get half of it. Uh, we're giving some money to the uh, McMaster Children's Hospital uh, in honor of George Winchester tonight, 60 years of service, Eva Rothwell, and the Good Shepherd. Uh, you guys are always doing it. So where, what is the Hamilton Transportation Club in general, not just tonight, but in general, you guys raise a lot of money for, for charities and stuff in the area, right? Yeah, we try to contribute to the local charities. Any money we have left from our events, we're an event-based club. Um, we pick it as a group who we're going to donate it to and just try to give back to the community. That's what we're about. Well, you guys do a good job. What's it like to get somebody like Wendell Clark to come out to one of our events? Exciting. <laughs> Even as a Montreal fan, it's exciting. Oh, you, didn't, you didn't just say that on the tape. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, man. Thank you. Oh, absolutely. Uh, uh, and this is one event that Hamilton has every year that I always treat myself to. Yeah. So I've been coming since 1983. And and are you a Leaf fan? We have to ask that tonight. Oh, absolutely. I'm <laughs> Toronto born and raised. I have oh, to be a Leaf fan. Oh, there you go. Now you put on a whole. <laughs> are you really actually selling 50 50 draw, or are you just here pretending? Get no, the money? I am. I'm, <laughs> I'm from an organization called TEAT, so we're okay. the Equestrian Association right. for the Disabled. Um, we teach therapeutic lessons to kids and adults with physical, emotional, and cognitive disabilities. Okay. And we use horses as a proven therapy. Oh, how long have you been in? I'd like to start off by thanking the Hamilton Transportation Club and its board members for putting on a great dinner and for keeping the club going for 94 years strong. I would also like to give a quick shout out to our musician, Ms. Samuel Whale. Thank you, Emma. Fantastic. And so let's get the elephant out of the room. So I'm here with Wendell Clark, and uh, Wendell, thanks for coming out tonight. It's absolutely great to Very see you. To be here. Yeah. So um, you help out a lot of these causes and stuff. What, what gets you out? What, you, you're not you're not playing anymore, so now what do you do? Yeah, yeah. My wife kicks me out of the house. Go do something. Uh, but no, it's great. We live in the area, able to get out and help with uh, a lot of different causes, having fun, meeting people, and talking hockey. So nothing yeah. better than that. Yeah. Anyway. Well, listen. Like he looks the part. Like he's got half his teeth. His eyes are pointing in different directions. <laughs> He scratches his ankles, he hasn't even bent over. Like, like a sweater comes to the elbow pad. Like he looks the part. So guess what? Every young kid that's played junior is going, I gotta fight Bob Probert. Like if you're the tough guy coming out, you're the new 20 year old, I gotta fight Bob Probert. He's the lead tough guy. So I felt that like he had that every newcomer, now he's 35 years old in Chicago, and there's some young 20 year old that's mad like that. Because we can all do that. Remember how dumb we were at 20? We get mad like that for no reason. Well, at 35, you're not getting mad like that anymore. Like, it's, you have to do something to me to get mad. Well, he was still fighting all these young guys. And I said, that takes a level of mental toughness right there. Because if I was ever building a team in the 80s, my heavyweight would never be over the age of 28. Because you're too smart after that. You figure out it hurts. 
Us guys aren't that bright. Look at all the people in this room realizing that they may have been in dumb classes growing up. I see one of them. I was like, I don't think so, man. But from what I remember, the teacher told me I was there to motivate the kids in grade five. All right, I'm here with Eric Johnson, who had everybody absolutely rolling. How are we doing tonight? All great. What a great night. Was that your, was that, you, that was a really cool performance. Was, would you consider that your best, your middle, your top? Oh, it was good. It was, it was I'll say this. Uh, in this November and December, I do these things. When I'm on the road doing comedy clubs and smaller theaters and stuff, but this is called corporate season. Yeah. Corporate, exactly what this was tonight. An event yeah. for a reason, a cause, whatever. This was probably one of the best corporates I've ever done. Yeah, I'll yeah, say, yeah. I'll comfortably say that one of the best corporates I've ever done. You're a Hamilton podcast. Oh, look at, look at. You know what I like? Look, you know what I like about a guy that's got my podcast already pulled up at, at no time. Yeah, you want to subscribe? Subscribe. Okay, so you said that Wendell got you to, uh, got you to sign, got some stuff done. Sign a puck, three, three cards, and his book. Have you been coming out to these uh, dinners for a long time? I have. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The last four years. Good value. Good value. Excellent value. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you part of a member of the club? I am. Yeah. So I mean, good. so Ash, how'd you find the evening? Did you uh, have a good time. Oh yeah, I had, I had really an awesome time. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you think of the Wendell Clark story? Was it good? I think that was tremendous. Yeah. yeah it was a great game. Great insight. Very entertaining. Yeah. How many of these transportation club dinners have you been out? Um, well, I, I, I come to the HTC every year because I'm part of the board. Right, right, right. But I also go to other industry events through the year. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah more than a few of them. Since you're on the board, what is the value to somebody uh, joining the Hamilton Transportation Board? I think when there is uh, the issue of camaraderie, you know, you're meeting industry professionals, industry leaders, you're getting to make connects, uh, you know, networking and, you know, knowledge sharing, sharing of best practices, everything that's good for you in terms of developing yourself with more insights into the industry, as well as, you know, getting to know people. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, All right, so you guys did an amazing job. Sue? You, you you actually, what, was that Gwendolyn that we were calling you? Gwendolyn Clark. <laughs> you guys did an amazing job. Uh, what's it what's it take to put on an event like this? It's gotta be crazy. I'll tell you what, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, but it is well worth it. 94 years strong, we're so proud. Yeah. Just keeping it going. Yes. And I, I wish Andrew was here, because Andrew was a, a workhorse in getting this organized. She's out in the hall working, but she's done a phenomenal job. You gotta give her a break sometime, Gene. That's how that's right. So what are you guys doing to top? Are, are, are we hinting to what's gonna happen next year? Well, honestly, we're not gonna say, but we got some really good ideas from Wendell. I'm trying to think of, yeah, who's number 95 on the team is what I was trying that's to figure right. out. He gave us some different <laughs> ideas that we're gonna explore and look at. Maybe a different way of doing some things. So, well, well, listen, I, uh, I'm gonna encourage people to, to join the club. What, what's the value from uh, for joining the Hamilton Transportation Club? Other than coming out to cool dinners, what do you guys feel the value is? Well, there's um, the uh, amount of businesses and clients that serve the Hamilton area is phenomenal. So networking, uh, resources. resources, supply chain, it, it's really, it's not just a club, it's a family. Yeah. And if you, if you